all right um love one in christ jesus uh we thank the lord for this blessful day uh this is your pastor and your prophet uh do you do henry Apiakran. and today i'm going to share with you about some mysteries uh in the realms of the spirit something that can help you powerfully uh in your christian life to help you know that there are some things going on in this life so before we start let's pray together our heavenly father will bless your name this very day heavenly father speak unto us let the holy spirit give us understanding give us revelation and give us wisdom let this word bring forth life and power into our hearts in jesus christ we name we pray amen All right so um love ones in christ uh, this is your pastor and your prophet uh do you do henry appear crown once again and i'm here to encourage you to share some mysteries in the holy bible in the word of god in the sword of the spirit to let you understand that there are some things that are going on that you must not be ignorant of hmm? there are some things that goes on in this life that you must not be ignorant of these things and it's a mystery in this life you see this life is a mystery this world we live in is a world of mystery it's a spiritual world and uh, before you can uh, connect with the things of this world you have to understand that there is another world that our physical eye these eyes cannot see it takes the eyes of our spirit to see this world hallelujah so uh love one hearing me this day get to understand that we are not just in the physical world i get me there is another world that goes beyond the natural eye the natural senses uh our our sense of hearing touching seeing feeling all these things are just physical senses. There is another world which our spiritual senses can connect to. And that is why I'm going to reveal some mysteries to you about um, the realms of the spirit or revelations about the supernatural world. If you get my book, Understanding the Language of the Spirit, I wrote a book titled understanding the language of the spirit by diodu henry apiakra that is my own book by god's grace that i wrote i've written to details about how to decode the language of the spirit it can help you practically so i'm going to before i dive deeper into the things of the spirit my foundation is going to be based on the word of god that is my main foundation without the holy bible without the sword of the spirit without the living word i cannot teach anything outside the word of god whatever i teach it must be based on the word of god and before i go into it let me give you my foundation of this revelation or this mysteries to help you know that there are mysteries in this life i will share some of my experience with you about the spiritual world you see there are many religions in this world i remember someone invited me to a, a certain program it was called i think a, a canal a, a, a kanka, something like that and then when i i didn't know that it was like a kind of uh, bad i don't know how to say it when i went there you see they were praying a certain kind of prayer they were making some kind of incantation making some kind of meditation like a kind of um I don't know how to call it, like a kind of um, calling of a certain Im imagination, calling of God, certain things. And I was just watching them and analyzing them. Hey, what are these people doing? They believe what they are doing, that they are calling up a certain God. They believe that that God, uh, how do you call it? Uh, that God is the Holy Spirit. I don't want to go into the, the, uh, their religion. But you see, many people are being trapped that the Holy Spirit is a kind of uh, spirit that no you see that the holy spirit is a spirit that he is holy that's the one thing that's the most uh unique thing you must know about the holy spirit he is holy when i experienced the holy spirit you see what i felt was that i felt a kind of um orderliness when when i first encountered the holy ghost you see that i felt a kind of um 
orderliness, a kind of power, a kind of love, a kind of orderliness. That is my first experience I had with the Holy Spirit. And what I saw in my dream was that I saw in the realms of the tree, I saw a white dove, a beautiful white dove. There were two. You see, they were trying to embrace. When I saw this revelation or this uh, trend or this vision, I saw two doves. They were embracing, like they were about to embrace together. And I felt a kind of freedom inside me. I felt a kind of um, a kind of relief inside um, my, my, my inner man. And I've had several revelations about the Holy Spirit by God's grace. So, the, the realms of the Spirit is very, very real. And let me show from the Holy Bible to let you know that what I'm going to teach you, they are mysteries in this life. I'm going to show you mysteries, re- revelations, perfect holiness, perfect purity, whatever goes on in the realms of the spirit, it is real. So, uh, don't joke with the things of the spirit. I get me. Don't joke with the things of the spirit. Now, let's go to the book of um, Hebrews. The book of Hebrews to let you know there are many um, debate about who wrote the book of Hebrews. Some say it is Apostle Paul. Some say it is um, um all kind of authors, but I believe Apostle Paul wrote the book of Hebrews. So, in the book of Hebrews, let's open to the book of Hebrews. um, Hebrews chapter number 11, um, verse 11. Let me start from the verse 1 so that you can get the real understanding of this place. Now, Hebrews chapter 11, verses number 1. The Bible says that now faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Now, I want to emphasize on the verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So you see. This is the King James Version of the Holy Bible. I use the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And the Bible is saying that uh, the things that we see in this world, uh, it came from the things which were not visible. For example, this Holy Bible that you are, you are reading here, somebody has to write the Holy Bible, a company has to uh, write I have to print it. Are you getting me? The Holy Bible was inspired by the Holy Ghost. Holy men wrote the Holy Bible. But before I could get this hard copy of this Holy Bible, a company or maybe um, an institution have to print this Holy Bible for me to get in the hard copy. Without them, without them printing the the hard copy, I cannot get this Holy Bible. But here, the Bible is saying that the things that we see, that is the the tangible things that we see. In this world were made by the things we did not see which means that whatever came into being it came from the invisible world the tangible things came for intangible things for example if the book of Genesis carefully the book of Genesis you get to understand that when God spoke when God said let there be light The light came from an invisible realm out of the word of God that the light came. When God uh, said, let there be fishes in the sea, all these things, there was nothing substantial for we to depend upon, but it came from the invisible world. So it means that the spiritual realm can create visible things. Are you getting me? So the Bible is saying that in Hebrews chapter 11 verses number 3, that through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So, the things which we see with our physical eyes were made of things which were not visible. So, the trees, the animals, um, the seeds, all that we see, whatever came at the beginning of Genesis, it came from the invisible world. So, how can we trust that the invisible world is, is true? It is true from the Holy Bible that whatever we see in this world came out from the invisible world, came out from the word. When God spoke out of his spoken word, it created. So it means that there is another world which creates. 
there is another world which our physical eyes cannot see and we call this world the spiritual world or the spirit world we call it the world of the spirit that is where spirit beings lived and as a human being the real you is your spirit man i get me you, you, you are a spirit, I get me, in the book of 1 Thessalonians 5.23, the Bible says, The very God of peace sanctify thee holy, and I pray that we preserve our spirit, our soul, our body blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you get to understand that um, we are tripartite being, I get me, when you get my book, the, the Trinity of Humankind, I've written the details about the soul, the human body, and then um, the spirit of man. If you get my book title, How to Walk and Live in the Spirit, my book title, How to Walk and Live in the Spirit by Diodu Henry Apiakran, I've written to details about the spirit of man, the soul of man, uh, the body of man, and I've written to details. So, get to understand that this body you see here connect with the things of this world and then our spirit man connect with the things of what of the spirit that is why angels um before they even come here they have to get a human body for them to operate in this world even spiritual beings they have their own world like we human beings the earth is ours god created the earth for human beings for this body to live upon and without this body um the body cannot operate that is why even god almighty has to become a human being uh he came through the womb of a virgin called mary and he was born when the holy spirit breathed the the, the bread of life into the seed of mary and god almighty was formed in the form of jesus christ in the person of christ jesus and he came through the world so even god almighty have to become a human being to live in this world to die for our sins so and the, the spiritual realm is a realm for the spiritual beings. Our body, our physical body, this corrupted body cannot operate uh, perfectly in the realms of the spirit. We need, we use our spirit to operate in the realms of the supernatural. Are you getting me? So that is why before sometimes things happen in this world, it already manifests in the realms of the spirit. Mm. I give me a basic was say so no edi kan epie e was soon soon we are smart na say epie wo eh e yasin so what you say whatever happens in this life no on this earth no it already manifest in the realms of the spirit like it's like this physical world is like a mirror i get me when you stand before the mirror when you stand before a mirror uh the real you is you the image there and you see a reflected image of you beside the mirror the spiritual world is like the real you standing before the mirror and the physical world is like the reflected image of you behind the mirror or in front of the mirror are you getting me so the spiritual world reflects um what we can see in this life are you getting me the real you manifest in the realms of the spirit before we can see it operating in this life that is why sometimes when something bad is about to happen sometimes god reveals it to you in your dream when the enemy wants to attack you he first reveals to you in a dream when something good is about to happen to you it first manifests in your dream in your vision because in, in the spiritual realm there is a kind of operation there are laws that governs the realms of the spirit for example, the Holy Bible is a spiritual law. It controls the things of the spirit. The trees you see, the earth you see, the stars, the moon, the animals, all these things, they operate by laws. So, if you, if you ignore spiritual laws, it can break you. You cannot break a spiritual law and then go free, no. It have to. That is why sometimes those who go to the Malam powers, the, the Juju priests, those who goes to uh, traditional Omokwabosom Sukojin, Ru Ekoje, Tumi, Ene, you know. When they go to those traditional priests now, you see that these traditional priest people, uh, what they do is that um, they will conjure some kind of incantation, they will make some kind of sacrifice, and they will tell you that it is done. And when they say it is done, it has been done in the realms of the spirit, and therefore it will definitely appear in the physical world. That is why. The things of the spirit must not be taken just easy of that. Are you getting me? So, you must respect the things of the spirit. 
you must analyze you must believe that the things of the spirit is very very real it's very very true so in your dream life although sometimes satan can also give uh, dreams the devil can also give dreams you can know the difference between a godly dream and then a, 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 a demonic dream or maybe hallucination or maybe uh, your, your conscious dream or maybe whatever it can be so child of god get to understand that the realms of the spirit is real and uh, what in my little experience what i've seen is that in some part of the spiritual world when you live in sin or maybe when you are in darkness most often it represents that you are living in ignorance if you see your, yourself most often in your dream maybe in darkness in a dark place it's, it's a symbol that you are living in ignorance it's a symbol that the enemy has access in your life and so in some part of the spiritual world from my experience in some part of the spiritual it's always darkness there's total darkness in that that is when that is where the demons and then the evil spirit operate heavily at that at that place and in some part of the spiritual world it is always light when you get my book i think um titled um visions of the night i i wrote some vision i wrote I wrote some visions there. I've written several visions that the Lord gave to me in some of my books, if you get it, to help practically. So, the, the realms of the spirit is very, very, very true. And you cannot joke with that. That is why when you decree a thing, the Bible says decree a thing and it shall be established. So, the words that you speak, the words that come out of your mouth, it has a spiritual uh, significance. So, for example, when you speak bad words, evil words, there are some spirit yes moving around. You cannot see them. They move around. Angels are very real. Spirits are very, very real. Any word you speak, they can hold that word and they can even use it against you or use it for you. So let's say you speak evil word over your life, over your family. When you speak those evil words or curse over your family, over yourself, they are what we call familiar spirits. And this familiar spirit, they can take hold of your word and they can use it against you. And the same applies that if you speak the word of God, if you speak godly word, if you speak the living word, God's promises, the angels of God, the Holy Spirits, they, they hold that word and they try to build it up in the realms of the spirit. So child of God, get to understand that spiritual laws works. What you do to the tree, how you, you, you take care of animals, how you take care of, of the earth, how you take care of the water bodies, how you take care of, of the trees, of God's creation. You see, the trees and the, the earth and then the animals and God's creation, they have ears, they have eyes, they can hear the voice of God. That is why Jesus could speak to the fig tree that no fruit shall come out of you and immediately the, the, the tree heard the voice of god and the fig tree died a time came that jesus christ needed i think a fruit from a, a tree and that there was no fruit on that tree and jesus cursed that tree if jesus could speak to the tree and uh, within 24 hours that tree could dry up did that that tree has an ear the, the tree could hear the voice of god are you getting me? In the same way, a time came that Jesus Christ and his disciples, they were on, 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 a, on a sea, on, let's say on a, a river or sea, and then it was trying to bring a kind of storm on, on, on the boat, on the sea. And the Bible that Jesus spoke to the wind. He spoke to the sea and then it became silent. It means that the, the sea or the ocean or the wind, they could hear the voice of God. So if the oceans could obey the voice of Jesus Christ. That the oceans, the earth, the trees, they have ears. They can hear our voice. So when you speak to the earth, when you speak to the trees, when you speak to animals, when you speak to God's creation, they have ears. Whatever you do to the water bodies, they can either fight for you or they can either oppose you. That is why Santa, there can be an earthquake in the place. There can be a kind of tsunami, a kind of um, earthquake, a kind of um, water overflow in certain countries, certain villages, certain places. Because the earth is very angry with the people. The sea, the ocean, the river is angry because they are not taking good care of God's creation. And therefore, it reacts. It opposes. That is why people can command 
tender, they can command the sea, they can command the earth. It's, it's all in the Bible. If you check my, my teachings, 777 Mysteries in the Holy Bible, I've gone to details about these things that we can command the earth, we can command the trees, we can command the stars, we can command the moon, we can command the wind, we can command the fire. They are all in the Bible. They are biblical revelation. They are biblical truth. Because Jesus Christ could speak to the tree and the tree had it. Jesus Christ could, could speak to the, uh, to the ocean, to the wind, uh, to, to, to the sea. And the sea obeyed the voice of our Lord and our Master, Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ could, could spit into the sand. It, there was a time a man was blind. And Jesus Christ spit into the sun and he, he makes his, his, um, his spittle, whatever we call it, an uh, he, he makes that spittle with the sun and then he used to anoint the eyes of the blind man and, and the blind man could see. It means that there are uh, some things in this life that is a mystery. I get in me. So the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13, that uh, true faith. Through faith, we understand that that through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So, child of God, the realms of the spirit controls the physical world. That is why someone who prays, someone who enjoys fasting, when you sacrifice, when you fast, when you pray. Things happens in the realms of the spirit. When you decree the word of God, things happens in the realms of the spirit. When you decree the word of God, things happen in the supernatural realm. When you plead the blood of Jesus, things happens in the realms of the spirit. Because the blood is a currency in the spiritual realm. Blood is a currency. That is why the Bible says that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. That's the Holy Bible. So that is why in the Old Testament, that is why the priest, the high priest could use the blood of animals to atone for the sins of, of the Israelites, of the people. Because you see, like we use money as a currency in this world. Like you can use money to buy food, to buy water, to buy a land, to buy a car, to buy whatever you want to buy. In the same way, Blood is a currency in the realms of the spirit. That is why most often those um, in the occultic world, they sometimes sacrifice human blood, they sacrifice animal blood to just get money, to get this, to get power, to get fame, to get authority. They know the power of blood. And that is why Jesus had to shed his blood. Why didn't Jesus Christ save the world? Just say, I saved the world. But he, he shed his blood. It's a spiritual currency. It's a spiritual law. When you get to my book, Spiritual Laws and Spiritual Codes, I've written to details. So, child of God, blood is a currency that we can use to transact business in the realms of the spirit. The blood of Jesus it speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The Bible says that when um, Cain murdered Abel, the Bible says that the blood of Abel was speaking unto God for vengeance. Are you getting me? In the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, there was a kind of conflict and then Cain was angry with his brother Abel because God rejected his sacrifice and therefore Cain murdered his own brother. And the Bible says that uh, the blood of Abel was speaking on the ground. So the blood speaks. Human blood it speaks. Animal blood speaks. Even trees, they have blood. It's, it's a mystery in the, in the Bible. It's a mystery that you have, you have to know as a child of God that you don't joke with blood. And that is why the Bible says, And they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony. So, if you read the Old Testament, you get to understand that when the angel of death visited the land of Egypt, when he saw the blood on the, on the post, when he saw the blood on, on the doorstep, he passed over the Israelites. As soon as God sees the blood, he passed over your family. And therefore, when there is no blood in, on your doorstep, 
he goes and he kills your firstborn and then your first animals. So the blood is a symbol. The blood speaks. The blood it transacts. The blood contains authority. So anytime you are praying, you must enforce the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus Christ is an altar. The blood of Jesus Christ, it can silence every voice of the enemy. I've had several encounters, several visions about the blood of Jesus. You see, when, when, when you, you speak, when you mention the blood of Jesus, in the realms of the spirit, Christ appear. From my little visions and experience, when you, you mention the blood of Jesus, Christ Jesus appear in the heavenlies and then he images speaks and the altar in heaven it begins it begins to speak for you it begins to silence every voice when you mention the blood of Jesus there is a supernatural authority that silence that break every legal lines of the enemy you see there is power in the blood of Jesus if the blood of human beings can even give fame if the blood of animals, the blood of human beings can even give authority, can give power, people sacrifice human beings. It is happening. If you check today, people go to Jew priests on Kwabosom So Ekoji in Ro as sacrifice. I open for Moja, they use uh people's blood to get all this kind of worldly things. It means that there are some things that this spiritual force they know about blood. So even God Almighty have to share His blood through Christ Jesus before we can receive salvation because it is written in the Holy Bible that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So, blood transacts business. Blood is a doorway to the realms of the Spirit and you must employ, enforce, deploy the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony. So, child of God, never neglect the authority of the blood because the realms of the spirit, it works with laws. For example, you cannot enter your room without your key. You have to unlock the gate of your room with your specified key. In the same uh, realm, in the spiritual realm, you can get access to into the spiritual realm by the blood like we can use faith faith is a key mm? without faith we cannot please god another key is the word of god we have several keys to unlock the realms of the spirit so you must understand that the things of the spirit is very very serious and there are some spirits which are more stronger than certain spirits mm? there are some spirits which are more stronger than some spirit if you read the book of daniel when Daniel was fasting and praying, the Bible says that um, as the angel was coming with Daniel's request, there was a prince of Persia that could block the angel of God bringing Daniel's prayer. And Daniel traveled in the fasting and prayer and then angel Michael was released to stop or to deliver the angel that was bringing Daniel's request so it means that in the spiritual realm there are some spirits which are more stronger than certain spirits i get me there are some angels which are more stronger than certain angels and there are some spirits which are more wicked than certain spirit there are some spiritual demons there are some demons which are more wicked than certain demons let's read our bible in the book of luke in the book of luke uh chapter 11 verses um Number 20, let's see the book of Luke chapter 11, verses um, number 24. Luke chapter 11, verse number 24. The Bible says that when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return to my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and take it to him seven other more spirits weaker than himself. You see the Bible here. These are the words of Christ Jesus. Mm? That when someone receives deliverance and that person is still open or maybe there is still sin in the person's life, the, the weaker spirit, the demons or the evil spirit will come back to search whether there is an open door in that uh, person. So when the 
evil spirit that there's an open door in that person, he will go in and he will invite seven more wicked than he himself. So there are some spiritual beings or there are some demons which are more wicked than certain demons. It's, it's a law. And there are some holy angels which are more stronger than certain holy angels as we could see in the book of Daniel. But the most stronger of all stronger spirit is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost is the most powerful, the most stronger of all spirit. No power, no spirit can conquer the Holy Ghost, can conquer the Holy Spirit. Child of God, understand this spiritual laws that whatever goes on in this life has a spiritual significance. I get him. Even the best of the air. Sometimes what you speak, the best of the air, they can hear it. They are all in the Bible. Let's open a book to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11. Let's see that chapter 11, verses um, Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verses number 20. Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verses number 20. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses number 20. The Bible says that, Curse not the king, no, not in thy thoughts, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. You see how the Bible says this and that. The words you speak, even the bird of the air can hear your message, and he can even communicate that message to the one that you insulted so best of the air you see some best of the air they are not just like that they can carry messages animals can speak but yet that you, you cannot get their language the reason why today animals cannot speak as it was in the time of adam and was that because of sin but you see animals can show body language they are all in the bible that Whatever God creates, whatever has breath, it speaks, it hears, it has eyes, it can react, it can act, it can oppose, it can attack, it can defend. The stars you see, the moon you see, the earth, the trees, the water, the, but the animals, they can attack. Animals, some animals can feel, almost every animal can feel love. Even the dog in your, in your, in your house, in your neighborhood, the cat, they can know that you love him. A cat can know you love it or you love her. A dog can know whether you love him or you love her. You see, all these things are spiritual laws that you must think because don't abuse animals. Don't abuse God's creation because when you abuse God's creation, they can also uh, oppose you. It's a spiritual law because it's a mystery that human beings are ignorant. That is why in some countries, despite their wickedness, they still prosper because they know this law that they, they value animal, they value gods, they value trees, they value the earth. I remember I traveled to one of the towns in Ghana, and uh, because of the galamse that happened there, the land has become cursed because of galamse illegal mining activity. They 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 destroyed the water. They have destroyed the water bodies. They have destroyed the earth. They have destroyed the trees, and that place has become like. A, a slammer like like uh, a desert and it, it, it has become a, a, a cursed island and the place there is not improving because they have maltreated the earth they have maltreated the trees they have maltreated the water bodies the sea the rivers there and so the, the, the earth the creation of god is against the people in that land and therefore they are angry and they cannot see that the earth is against them the water is against them the stars are against them the trees are against them. So, child of God, these are laws that you cannot ignore in your life. And if you joke with spirituality and child of God, it's going to just limit you. So, learn how to speak the word of God. Learn how to confess the word of God. Learn how to speak. Learn how to treat God's creation with, with respect, with love, with, with harmony. The animals in your place, sometimes the demons can also possess certain animals. Demons or evils can also possess animals if you don't pray, if you don't anoint your things, if you don't anoint your animals, what you own. These are secret. These are not, these are secret in the Bible. You must anoint your, your, your things. You must pray over your animals. You must pray over your belongings. You must pray over your land. You must uh, 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 sow a seed on your land. 
the land you're about to build your house, pray over that land because you might not know that that land might be cursed. A land can be cursed. A particular place can be can be cursed. A particular community can be cursed mm, because of what they did on that land, because of what somebody spoke on that land, because what was sold on that land. That land can become cursed and altars can be laid upon that land and demonic spirit can also access you through that land because it has become a channel for demons to just control. So, child of God, get to understand that the things of the spirit is very, very real. When you get to my book, Understanding the Language of the Spirit, my book title, How to Walk and Live in the Spirit. There are several books I've written, authored by Diodu Henry Apia. And that is my own book, By God's Grace. You get the books, they will help you. So, in summary, I will continue maybe in the next episode about spiritual things to help you know that uh, the things that we see in this world were made of intangible things. Whatever happens, whatever goes, or whatever we see, whatever goes on in this life, are always manifest in the realms of the soul. Child of God, when you get a bad dream, an evil dream, don't sit down on it. Just pray and cancel those evil dreams. Use the word of God. Use the blood of Jesus. Use the fire of the Holy Ghost. There are several weapons in the Holy Bible. If you get my book, um, I think, 1001 um, Principles of Spiritual Warfare and then Dominating the Dark Kingdom, I have several books that you can use. There are some spiritual weapons you can use in this thing to control the things of the Spirit. So, child of God, never undermine the things of the Spirit. I pray for you that May God deliver you from every ignorance. May God deliver you from every danger. May the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you in Jesus Christ's name. Shout a big amen. So, child of God, never neglect spiritual things. Jesus spoke to the earth. Jesus spoke to the tree. It responded. Jesus used sand. You see, salt. You can use salt. You can use uh, water. You can do many things and it works it works and they are all in the bible so check my teachings 777 mysteries in the holy bible 777 mysteries in the holy bible on my youtube channel henry do you do appear crown and check on my blog to uh www.rockofheaven.com rock of heaven.com r o c k o f h e a v e n dot com rock of heaven dot com if you check on my blog i have over 50 free books on my blog and over 500 articles on my blog read the articles and share the free books if you go to amazon you can get some of my free books as well and then download the books and buy to support the kingdom work so once again this is your pastor and your prophet do you do Henry appear crown and I believe that this short teachings this short message will help you and then just decode the language of the spirit know the the, the tools that God speaks to us in in the realm of the spirit God speaks to us using using building using language using symbols to speak unto us you have to interpret all these things because they are all uh, spiritual secrets so child of God don't neglect yourself don't undermine yourself get my book understanding the language of the spirit it's a free book on my blog read a book and get more revelation about the things of the spirit these are just introduction for you to help you know about the things of god for you to grow in the things of the spirit so once again this is your pastor and your prophet do you do henry appear crown if you're not born again and you want to give your life to christ jesus it's never too late uh, wherever you are close your eyes and lift up your two hands and pray this prayer right after me say heavenly father I repent of all my sins and I confess Christ Jesus as my Lord and my Savior Holy Spirit come into my heart grant me grace and grant me mercies in Jesus Christ's name shout a big amen if you have prayed after me this hour all your sins are washed away by the blood of jesus christ find a bible believing church and attend and then uh, build yourself in prayer build yourself in the word of god i uh, live in holiness 
and then uh, do evangelism and then I pray for you that no weapon that is formed against your life uh, shall prosper and every mouth that lifts their voice against you I condemn that voice right now in the name of Jesus may the blood of Jesus Christ be a seal over you right now in Jesus mighty name may the fire of the Holy Ghost surround you right now in Jesus name every curse pronounced over your life I declare by the stripe of the Lamb uh, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ became a curse for you that through the hanging of the tree, you might become a blessing. Therefore, I declare, I declare and declare right now that you are set free from every curse, every spoken curse, every demonic curse, self-imposed curse, uh, human curse. You are delivered right now in Jesus Christ's name. I decree and declare that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And I declare and decree that you are moving forward, you are going forward in the name of Jesus. I stand in the provision in the blood of Jesus, and I declare that every dream of backwardness are destabilized in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that no weapon that is formed against our life shall prosper, and every mouth that lifts their voice against us, hey, I condemn that voice right now in the name of Jesus Christ, and I declare that we stand upon the righteousness of Jesus Christ, and we decree and declare that let every voice be condemned, let every voice be overruled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus speak for your mercy, the blood of Jesus speak for your favor, the blood of Jesus speak for your increase. You will not die before your time because you are connected through the blood of Jesus. May God show you mercy. May God help you. May God empower you in this end time. You are moving forward. You are healed right now by the stripe of the Lamb in Jesus Christ. They rise up on that bed and start walking and start praising God right now. In Jesus Christ's name, shout a big amen. Once again, this is your pastor and your prophet. You do Henry appear grand. Share this message. Share share this message on all social media handles on your blog, on wherever you can share, so that people can also get this message to become blessed. Once again, this is your pastor and your prophet. You do Henry appear. Can I encourage you to check on my blog, uh, www.rockofheaven.com, rockofheaven.com, and connect my free books over fifty books for free on my blog. And over 500 articles for free on my blog on Amazon too. Amazon too have some books over 70 to 80 books on Amazon. Some are free. Some are also sold. You can also support me in the ministry work. I don't ask for money in any other channel except through my blog. That is Rock of Heaven or my YouTube, my official YouTube channel. Anywhere you see somebody request for money using my face, please just come. I don't use any other channel either through my blog rockofheaven.com or through my uh, official youtube channel there is any other way that i request for any money it is only through my blog support the kingdom work and become a become a blessing in this end time you are blessed in christ jesus name